Hi folks and welcome to this comparison video where I'm comparing the Joy For All Cat and Metacat version 2.0. So I'll do the comparison first and at the end I'll tell you which one I prefer because I do have a preference. If you decide that you would like to purchase the Joy For All Cat after watching this video I'll put a link in the description below to Amazon and I'd be much obliged if you use that link as it helps the channel. I will put a link for the Metacat 2.0 to Amazon as well when it becomes available but currently on Amazon.com they only have the version 1 available. And a lot of the functionality of version 2 isn't in version 1. So as soon as 2.0 becomes available on Amazon, I'll link that in the description below as well. So the most obvious difference between these two cats is that they're sat in completely different ways. So the Joy for All is sort of sat sideways, so to speak. But the posture of the Meta Cat is more like the original For Real Friends from 2002. It's sort of laid in a sort of crouching sort of position. I actually find that better for sitting on my lap. So before talking about the way the cats move, which is very different in these two cats, I'll talk about how the cats look. The fur and the paws and the legs and the tails and the eyes. So we'll start by comparing the faces of the two cats. So the Joy For All cat's ears are made from a soft plastic with fur stuck onto the back of the plastic and trimmed over most of the ear. Whereas Metacat's ears are completely made out of material so the fronts are made of a sort of very sort of short pile sort of velvet velvety white material and then they've added some tufts of the white fur on the tops and the back the backs of the ears i think it might be the same white velvety material i think what they do is Use some sort of sort of brown paint to give it the colouring on the backs of the ears because it feels a bit different, like it maybe does have some paint on it. And then these bits of brown detail here again are painted onto the fur. The faces of the two cats are very different. The joy for all is much flatter. It has hardly any muzzle at all. Whereas I would say the Meta Cat is a more realistic sort of cat shape. Proportionally, the Joy for All has a larger nose than the Meta Cat. They both feel like they're made out of some sort of hard plastic. Meta Cat has a sort of partially opened <coughs> mouth which again is quite realistic and in the case of the Joy For All cat I think they've sacrificed realism around the mouth in order to be able to make the mouth open but the inside of the Joy For All cat's mouth is really quite nice they've even got little teeth painted on the sides and quite a detailed tongue and we can see the roof of the mouth. Both cats have paw pads on oh, yeah. all four feet. The Joy For All, it's all one solid piece and it's made out of hard plastic. Metacat has separate little pa pads, one main one at the back and then four little pads as you'll find on a real cat. And they're quite soft. They feel like they're probably made of silicon. One of the nice features of Metacat 
is the tail. Little cat has a really thick bushy tail that moves. Whereas the joy for all just has this empty bit of fur. I've never been happy about the tail on the joy for all. The front legs and the back legs on the joy for all are more detailed than on Metacat. And the front legs look completely different to the back legs. So they feel quite hard inside. Kind of feels like a bone, to be honest. And that's probably because one of the legs certainly is mechanical in the Joy for All cat and it can move. The back legs are particularly nice on the Joy for All. So you've got the proper feet that you would find on the back leg of a real cat and they are jointed and poseable which is really nice they've got a proper sort of thigh shape at the tops so a lot of detail in the back legs on the joy for all whereas with metacat because of the posture they've got it in the legs are not really detailed so they're just like two straight legs joined at the top on the front which are not completely soft but quite soft so they quite feel quite good and the back legs are actually shorter than the front legs they're really short you do have a sort of shape of a hip at the back which is quite nice but yes there's no posability or anything in these legs i've got to say that in terms of fur the metacat definitely has better quality fur. It's long and it's thick and it's dense. It's the sort of fur that you would get if you're looking for luxury fur to make your own model. The Joy For All, whilst I like the pattern on the Joy For All, that's very nice. The fur itself is nowhere near as thick or as dense. The Metacat does have the advantage as well of being very soft and cuddly. The, the padding inside is quite firm to make it more realistic, but it's still soft. Whereas the Joy For All is, the whole of the Joy For All is very hard plastic under the fur. And of course, then we've got the huge difference between the two cats, the eyes. The Joy For All has got very pretty green eyes and the eyes open and close while the metacat of course has got lcd eyes and when the lcds are off metacat still has really beautiful eyes they're a sort of like beige color and then you've got the, the dark iris in the middle both cats have whiskers the whiskers on the Joy For All are really quite thick. Whereas the whiskers on the Metacat are very fine and they're a lot more subtle, a lot more realistic. Both cats power down and go into a standby mode, but it's quite different in each cat. So after a while of inactivity, Metacat powers down and goes into a standby mode and to get him to power up again you just stroke him so if you don't interact with the joy for all cat for a while it goes into a standby mode and this is what it does It makes that noise and then after a long pause it makes this noise. Meow. Now I don't like that meow. I find it quite sort of mournful and irritating. I've always disliked this aspect of this cat since I got it and unlike the Joy for All dog and the Joy For All bird, which I keep on standby all the time, 
because it's quite nice when you go over to the bird and it'll twitter or you go over to the dog and it'll yap and the rest of the time they just stay quiet. This cat will just make this mournful meow and that creepy noise just for hours. So I find I've got to keep it switched off, which is annoying because if you, you can't just sort of stroke it and it'll come back on again. You've then got to power it up using the switch as well. So I have to say that I do prefer Metacat. I've only had, <laughs> she's understood me saying mm. his name. I've only had him for one day and I feel more attached yeah. than I ever have to the Joy For All. There isn't time in this video to talk about the different senses and functionality of the two cats. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave mm -hmm. that for the next video. But I'm going to finish this video off by talking about the different motors in the two cats okay. because it has a lot of implications. It does, yeah. So Metacat has got servo motors. That's right, little model servo motors. So it's one for each movement. There's one in the tail and two somewhere in the head neck area for the two axes of movements up and down and left and right. Whereas the Joy for All cat, because it was originally made by a toy manufacturer, Hasbro, as Lu yeah. for real friends Lulu, mm -hmm. it's made like toys are made. Yeah, it, where, doesn't, it doesn't use model servo motors. Mm, yeah. Where they use linkages and cogs and, and levers. And springs. So that they can get lots of movement out of one motor. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's only one motor. There's just one motor in uh, Marmalade, yeah. But because toys are made like that, they include things like springs uh -huh. and as you said, very big gears. Yeah, big plastic gears and sort of like clutch systems that makes the toy and the motor a lot more robust and mishandling because they're essentially made for uh, children, really. Yeah. So even though Ageless Innovations has taken over the Joy for All range now and they make them for adults... As therapy robots. Uh, the basic structure inside uh -huh. is the one that Hasbro came up with. Yeah, which is like uh, the robust toy type structure, which so, it would have to be for, um, for a therapy robot for adults. If you're going to give this cat to, say, people with dementia. Yeah, or perhaps they don't have control of the muscles quite the same. So or, they, or that as well, they so they could easily drop, drop it. Drop it, yeah, or mishandle it in some way. It's got to be robust. Whereas Metacat is really being made more like a robot is made using yeah. servo yeah. motors and as as a consequence it needs careful handling and isn't robust really and wouldn't perhaps stand a drop either so metacat like other robots aimed at adults it's taken that you will handle it with care yeah you won't be mm -hmm. rough with it mm -hmm. you won't drop it or, or try to sort of twist the head twist the head round or something like yeah. that so that does have an implication if you're buying metacat for someone who may damage it yeah. metacat could be a therapy robot for somebody who say has anxiety yeah, yeah. an adult with yeah. anxiety That's right. who will handle it with care with care yeah quite right but not if you can't sort of trust the person not to drop it or give it some rough hand yeah, handling. Yeah, so the, the, we're comparing two um, robotic cats here, but they're not quite like comparing like with like, are we? No, they, they're really quite different. So, folks, that concludes this comparison video. I hope you'll join us for the next comparison video where we'll look at how the functionality of the two cats and the movements differ. And, of course, the different senses that each cat has. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.